Shavuot Tov. We started the Mishnah on Dafayim Gimel and Aleph. And let's see if we could uh, see the Gemara today. First, the Mishnah that establishes Elu Hain Shematzino Son Benafshan Arodif Achaver Lahargo. The Achar Hazachar. The Achar Naramu Rasa. So we said here that we have number one a case where the victim's life was in, in danger. Second, we have a category of Gilea Rias. And then the mission says in the following cases, there's no din of Rodei, for Rodei, for Har Behema, Mechal Shabbos, Obeid, Avodos Kochov, Mei Matzilin, Oso Benafshin. Tana Rabbonah. Minayin le Rodei, we'll use this morning for a little bit of, uh, you know, just getting through the sugya here, perhaps until the Gemara on Ayin Dalit. Minayin le Rodei, for Har Behema, Lo Argo, Shnita, Litzil, Benafshin, Lomer, Lo Samar, Al Dam, Reyachal. So the Gemara says, also, Can you really derive the din of Rode from Los Samod? Los Samod is talking about a case where you can save someone's life. And So we need this Pasuk to teach me the Chiv of Hatzola. And it doesn't have anything to do with killing someone. We're not killing anybody. I mean, we're just saving someone from animals, from water, from listim. Again, listim might be a case of Rodev, but we'll see. So Gemara says, Enochinam. This is not the source. Elo, Nitan, Latzil, Benafshim, Nolan, Asya, Bekavachom, Minara, Murasa. In the case of Namurasa, the Torah says that you can kill the Rodev, even though that's only an issue of not whole life, but for Gima, I mean, it's a Busha, it's a Zilzal. See, the Gemara is not analyzing from the perspective of the Avera, per se, because she's an Onus. So Gemara says, Can you kill the Rodev based on a Kavachomer? We're going to have a principle derived from Tana to Be'erevi that uh, we don't kill a person or punish a person based on a A uh, a, a kavachomer, and Tana de Bech, uh the Bey Rebbe is going to have to come up with another kind of method from which we derive the halacha of killing a rode. If it can't be based on kavachomer, the Gemara in Masech the Makis Tafeim and Beis derives the principle from of from Achos Basov Bas Imo. Why did Torah have to mention? Bas Ovu, Bas Imo, full sister. And the answer is if we only had one and we derived a half from a half sister, a full sister, we would say, Ain't on Shimon Adin. So the Be Rabbi Tonic Keshahu, this is not a Kalvachor, but rather a Hekesh. Because the Possek says in the case of Ma'anis, Nara Muras, it says, La Nara Lasasa Dovar, Ain La Nara Chet Mishpat Chet Moves, Kikasha Yokum. So we have in the Pasuk here both Nara Murasa and Rotseach. So Tana Debe Rebbe asks the following question. In other words, the Torah is equating the din of Nara Murasa to the din of Ritzich in terms of the Nirzach is also a victim. And we don't punish the victim of Ritzich, obviously, and we don't punish, therefore, by equation, the victim of a rape situation, Narmarasa. So, So, 
So why did the Pasuk need this example of Rotseach? You know, because the Nirzach is free of punishment, so we need that to prove and to establish that Navarosa is free of ta- punishment. The Torah already says, well, Anara lo sasa davar. So why does it say, ki kasha yokum From the Anara lo sasa davar, we see that she's exempt from any punishment. So the Gemara says, I raise that bal alami v'nim salamit. That the Dini of Rotseach, that's written in the Parsh of Narma Rosa, is coming to teach us something about Rotseach. Makish Rotseach le Narma Rosa. So it doesn't mean that we need Rotseach to teach me something about uh, Narma Rosa because she is exempt from punishment, that we know already, but rather to teach me. Something about Rotsea. And what is that? Man Aramurosa Nitan Latsila Benafsha, which we don't know exactly how we know this, but Afrotsea Nitan Latsila Benafsha. So Gemara immediately asks, Venara Marosa Gufa Minolan. How do we know that we're allowed to kill the road they've in the case of Narmarosa? Get a ton of bay or shmol ton of shmol. And now we're looking at the case. Of the Ptur Ones in Narmarosa, and it says there, Kibasodam it's a ot, a ka noram yorosa, the ain moshia law. Ha yesh moshia law. Then, Bechaldova shiachaloshia. The Torah is implying that we couldn't have found any other method of preventing that rape situation. Because there was no way we could achieve anything. But if we could achieve killing the Rodev, that's called Yesh Moshiela. There's some person out there who can somehow save her from the Ones by killing the Ones. Is then Becholdover Shetzar Shia, even in the case of Harigas Rodev. And from Narma Russell, we'll derived in the case of Rotzeach, that a Rodev Hachachavero Nitan Latzilo Benaf Gufa. What about the Posse of Asheva Solo? Avedas, right? The Bryce says, Avedas Gufo Minalin. How do we know that you have a chiv to be Meshiv, not only in Aveda, a monetary. A, val- a, mon- a monetary object of value, but also to return a person's goof, meaning if he's in danger. So you have to do whatever you can to prevent the death of a person. That's called Avedis Kufo. And the Diak here is from the Vav at the, at the end of the word so Give him back to himself. So the question is, that's only an essay. We need a lota, say, Ime hasam. If we only had vashivoso lo, ava mino, hani mili binafsha. If you can physically save a person, then you're obligated to do so in order to fulfill the mitzvah of vashivoso lo. Aval mitrachu megar agure, but to hire people and spend money in order to save someone, name a lo. That goes beyond the purview of the mitzvah. Kamash Malon, now we have a low samod, and we have also a lav, not just an essay. And with regard to an essay, maybe it's only physical tircha, if you can save him yourself, but you don't have to save money, spend money on it. Because if you hire somebody, you're going to have to pay money for it. But now that we have a losase, for to avoid a losase, we have to spend every last every last penny, every last dime. So you have to hire somebody 
to save him if you can't do it yourself. I just want to look quickly in the uh, Yalkut Habi'urim just to see if he adds anything here. So we're here on Daf Nuntes. Ah, so that's what he adds here in the footnote here number Pe'alef, that you would have to spend up to a Chomesh, but not more. All right. Al summit al Al Not sure why he doesn't mention just the lotus here. Hikshu Talmide Rabinu Peretz. Ima Limuru Mashmos Apostle said Tordi Holomar. So what's the Kiddush of Ashi Boso? Shigam kasher ein ala odom sakonis nefoshos ela so hu baderech yesh mitzel ashivu. All right? Even if it's not a matter of sakonis nefoshos. This topic of Minchas Chinuch Lamaskonas Agamora She Es Hadin Shal Schirus Polim Ayinu Lameidem Milos Samod Biela Veros Yavar Hamis Alim Meat Solo Vemokum Shetzaruch Shiyos Karpav Nish Ah So let's say if he has to spend money and he doesn't do so to save the person, does he violate only the love or even? The essay because the love is now Megal in the essay. He has a whole discussion here on the top of the next column about whether he can get reimbursed for the matzah, for the money that he spent to save somebody. And he quotes the tour that says, in Yeshlo Momen Latzil Atzmo Chayv L'Shalim Luzer. Okay, the Nitzel has to has to pay money for this. Ben Rabbanon Echad Rodi Vachet Chaver Lahorgo Achar Zochar. And so it's not just Nara Moroso, but any Arayos that generate Mises Bezdin, and even 
Arayos, they come under Chayvei Krisus, Matzil, and also on But what about Chayvei Lavim? Avl, Rodiv, Arayos, Hasurus, Al Brak, Velav, Kigon, Al Mona, Lukoin, Godol, Rushabah, Halutz, Lukoin, Hejot, Ein Matzil, and also on Benafsho. Nevdeva, Vera, Ein Matzil, and also on if already the Avera was done, then we don't kill the Rodev, even though you might say he gets a Chiv Misa, he deserves to die, but then we have to bring him to Bezdin. Now, Yesh Lamoshia, Ein Matzion also Benafsha. If there's a way of saving her, and preventing the Misa Ones without killing the Ma'anes, we have to employ that method, and we're not going to kill the Rodev. Of Yudomer Afo Merasi Nicho Lo Shaloyar Gena. If she sees that they're about to kill him, and she says, Leave him alone. Don't, don't save me by killing him. Is then, once again, Ein Matzilin Osa Benafsha. We don't put him to death. Minani Mil. Oh my Krabla. Narol Osasa Dorein Lenara Chait Moves. So it says already, why did the Torah have to add Ein Lenara Chet Moves? That seems to be redundant. And the Gemara Darshan's Na'ara, right, it could have said Na'ara with a He at the end. But it says Na'ara without the He. Zez Zohu. So we read it as if it said Nar, which is a male. So we're talking about a Rode Vachara Zachali on Samishkev Zachal. Is Nar Ra, but the Cree, we read it as if there was a He at the end, Zu Nar Murasa. Okay, fine. Then it says, Elu Nara Chet Moves. Chet. Elu Chavi Chris Moves. Elu Chavi Mises Pez. And now we're talking about a Rayos. And it says not only Chayvei Krisus, but also Chayvei Mises Bezdin. And one wonders why we need all these cases. Kolhani Lomel. Tzrichi. Te'ikos Rachmane Nar. In the case of a rape, of a homosexual rape, then we say we'll kill the Rodev Mishum Delav Urche. This is a Bizayan Godel. And the Torah was matir to be matzil, the nirdaf benefesh al erod. If I'm a benara, the urche. At least this is a, a kind of a normal uh, sexual pattern. He says, "Hey, malo, maybe we wouldn't kill the rodev because of Rachman and nara." If the Torah had only mentioned nara, mishum de kapogim la. Maybe the Torah was more machmir in the case of a Rodev Achar Namuros who allowed to save her by killing the Rodev because she is a Besua. And now he's being Pogma Besua. And uh, she's a uh, Murasa. Now the Oros is not going to want to marry her. She's already a uh, Paguma. Ah, Volnar. In the case of Mishkab Zachar, the local Pogim lay, aim alone, maybe the Torah would not require that you kill him. Because Rachmana Hani, and if the Torah had mentioned only Zachar and Naramurasa, and now the Gemara is going to try and analyze why we need the cases of, of Arias.